guys, good morning. So we are just going out to the mall today just to get some fresh air. Maybe check some stuff out, I don't know yet. But um, just wanted to show you guys really quickly what I'm wearing and this is my, it is actually a little chilly out. So this is just my little sweater from Abercrombie. Oh, the jeans are actually from Abercrombie and this is my beautiful new Polen and my little black loafers. So that is the outfit of the day. I'm not really wearing any jewelry because I'm literally so late. Like my husband and daughter are already in the car. So we're just gonna go with this. And also there's like literally nothing on my face except my brows, a little bit of mascara and eyeliner. So yeah, we'll be in the car for a little bit cause the mall is like two hours away. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys then. And also, I want to show you guys the beautiful flowers for Mother's Day. So this is from my husband and daughter. And this, my brother and sister-in-law sent me. How pretty is that? And that one is from Costco. And my little guilty pleasure, that wine right there. So how pretty is that? I love it. So let's go. Hello guys. We're in the car now and, oh, hello there. You guys, how cute are these shoes? Wait, look at it, it's so cute. I'm gonna feature them in a haul. I bought a bunch of new stuff for her, so I'm just gonna feature that. And I'm not sure when that's going up because my whole order is like kind of messed up, but these are so cute. I cannot with these. But, um, like I said, it's gonna be like an hour and a half-ish. So I'm gonna try and get this little puppy to sleep. Good luck to me with that. Yeah, I know, baby, I'm coming. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Hello guys, we are here. And it is actually pretty packed. So I just quickly went into um, Neiman Marcus and yeah, so now we're just walking. It is a beautiful day, kind of chilly out. And I hope you guys can hear me. But yeah, I'll show you guys, it's very beautiful. That's my husband and little miss in the stroller. They're just walking by. It's nice for her to get out once in a while, but this is the beautiful mall. Wow, this is so pretty. I think this is the Sicily collection. Gosh. Wow. Oh wow. They actually have a sale for global. That's amazing. Two piece chef set. Clear and sale. I need to look into this. So good. You guys, I've been so into kitchen stuff lately. Oh, look how beautiful. This is like quickly turning into one of my favorite stores. <gasps> wow, look at all this lemon design. That's beautiful, look at that, wow. I've been so into like these lemony Mediterranean kind of prints. Like, yeah, see, this is their Sicily collection. How beautiful is it? Oh, cups. That is stunning. Look at that gorgeous blue. Wow. Oh, even this pink is so pretty. Oh, that is gorgeous. You guys, this literally makes me want to buy like everything. Yeah, these dinner sets look so nice. 
Africa, so we just left William Sonoma. What's wrong, sweet Pili? All right, I got something that I've been wanting for so, so long. And now we're just gonna walk around for a little bit. Aritzia and I kind of want to go in see what they have their display looks so pretty with the paint and the yellow how gorgeous does that look and oh my gosh that dress is to die for hold on look at that beautiful dress oh my goodness stunning okay let's go in There's no way you can go in because the line starts all the way around. It's crazy. There's little cutie. The lighting is, let me see if I can do this. Okay, better. So we got home around, I think around 7.30ish and Obviously, we had dinner. I mean, we picked up some McDonald's on the way back. If you guys haven't had the triple cheeseburger with Big Mac sauce, so, so good. That's like my little cheat meal. Um, so we had that, we came home, gave my little Mickey a bath, and we got her to bed, and then we actually watched part of a movie, and my husband just went to take a shower and I'm just looking at her in the monitor here but um, I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up. It's not a lot but I still want to show you guys and while I was at Aritzia, a girl actually came up to me and she asked me to not record there anymore which is insane because I have seen lots of people actually recording at Aritzia. Anyway. I did end up getting something from William Sonoma, Aritzia, and a tiny little thing from Louis Vuitton. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from William Sonoma first because it was, oh my collar is so crooked. Um, I've been wanting this for so, so long um, and I think I needed it. I think you guys already know that I did get a new knife. Um, so I got the global, what was it, um, seven and a half inch chef's knife and I gotta be careful because this is like crazy sharp. 
So, you guys, I love cooking, so anything that makes my job a little bit easier, because I was going crazy, like, sharpening all the knives that we already had. So, I decided to get this, and it was on sale, too. So, I think I got around $119. I'm not sure how much it was originally. Yeah, it doesn't say how much it was originally, but it is made in Japan, and it is pretty amazing. So, this is what it looks like. Oh, so beautiful and so sharp. I love this. I can't wait to start using this. Like, I'm probably gonna make, I'm probably gonna use this when I make like Mother's Day brunch tomorrow. Maybe, we'll see. But so, yeah, this is the first thing that I picked up from William Sonoma. And I also picked up another set. I think it came with the seven inch chef's knife and a little paring knife. So that was $100, so I ordered that. They didn't have it in store. So I ordered it, and it's not going to get here till like July, but I still thought it was worth it because that was a really good deal. I think they were having a clearance. So if you guys have been wanting a new knife, I would totally say get the Global and check it out at Williams Sonoma. Let's get to the second thing. So... I actually went to Aritzia to get some new work pants. So I was looking at the Conan pants and I like I like those because it had like elastic on the back and the material was also really light and comfy and I thought it would be perfect for now. So um I tried them on. I don't know, it kind of like bunched up in the front and it wasn't cute so I couldn't get that. And then I also tried the Levi's Wedgie Icon. I think you guys saw me getting that to try but it didn't look cute either. I'm so annoyed because those were like the perfect washes that I was looking for but I did end up getting something and Again, this was another item that has been on my wish list for such a long time. And I got the, what was it called? The Babaton Flowy Trench Coat. I'm sure this had another name. Like, they recently changed all the names. Uh, but, yeah, I got this light little flowy trench coat i thought it was such a nice color for like the springtime because it's so neutral it's a little bit cooler than i would like but i still thought it was cute and i thought it would look great with my little pollen bag so maybe i could do an outfit with that and i also ordered a black like this was expensive guys i think it was around yeah $198 and tax just for this so I obviously didn't want to get a black one and I think I do have one from Revolve that I got like a couple of years ago before I was pregnant I don't even know if it would still fit but I did order another one from Zara I'm waiting for that all that stuff to come in because I got a bunch of stuff so they haven't sent it yet. I think I was supposed to get it like last week and I still have it and it's so frustrating. But yeah, so that's my little rant on that. So after that girl told me that I couldn't vlog in there, I got a little, you know, conscious to say the least. So when I went to Louis Vuitton, I kind of felt the need to ask my CA if I could record. But then I felt weird asking her that, so I didn't. But So I just picked up a little something from Louis Vuitton. And it came in this little box. And oh, here's the receipt. And this is the packaging. Did I say it? Oh, the Louis Vuitton part is totally covered. Um, it doesn't matter. You guys know. So I got... Let me see. Do you guys actually undo this ribbon or just slip it off? I feel like it's just easier for me to like slip it off. Anyway, so here it is. I got the the four ring key holder in the monogram print. So I do have the key clay, but my car keys on there were like like it wouldn't go in it. So I had to use like this extra little round clip and it was annoying me because it's like, it like added a little bit of extra length and it wouldn't like lie straight. So it was annoying me, that little extra added length. So I decided to just 
try my luck because these are like sold out all the time online so i decided to just try my luck call my ca while i was at the mall and she was like oh my god i have it so she had it in this one and the six ring key holder but um the six ring one had a huge scratch on the button so i will insert a picture of that like it was pretty bad and this one was perfect so this is her up close oh totally did that the wrong way so there it goes and it's made in France so this is my little key holder and I tried putting oh and it comes with a little card I was wondering if my license would actually fit in here but it didn't I don't think it matters because I usually have my, I don't know where my phone is, but I usually have my little, my insurance and my driver's license in my phone. Like it, it has like a little card slot on the back of it. So I love that thing, by the way, I will link it down below for you guys if you, if you are interested, it's amazing. So I just needed this to hold just my little key fob and the house keys. So I figured this would be enough and I just went with this and I love it. So yeah, that's what I picked up. And she was also kind enough to throw in a couple of perfume samples. And you guys, I can't even pronounce it, so I'm not going to. So this was one. I hope you can read it. And I have no idea what this smells like. That one's sort of like a really fresh kind of scent. But it like turned into this like tobacco kind of scent on my skin. You guys, my skin is so weird. I have like the hardest time finding a perfume. So this is a hard no from me. And this one's, I feel like this one's gonna be worse, but that's what it is. Let's try it here. This one sort of smells like an old perfume that my mom had. Yeah, you guys, what I said was totally wrong because this one smells way better than this. So clearly you can't tell what a perfume's going to smell like by its name. Hello. But um, yeah, definitely this over the other one. Other one just smells like, oh, no, 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 no. But yeah, that was my teeny tiny little haul, guys. And yeah, I think I'm just going to go take a bath and go to sleep, watch a movie maybe. Um, yeah, I, my husband and I were watching yesterday, so we need to finish that. I think he's out of the shower by now too, so I'm gonna go take a little bath and maybe have a glass of wine and then watch, finish watching that movie and then get to bed. So yeah guys that's it for now i will see you soon hello guys happy mother's day or it's probably way past mother's day when you're watching this so i hope you all had a very nice mother's day um so right now we actually had a nice mother's day brunch with my mama and now we are gonna go get our mani pedi done which i'm so excited about because i haven't gotten my nails or feet done in oh so long and they need some love and care <laughs> to say the least so we're gonna do that and then i'm quickly gonna after that i'm quickly gonna pop by the grocery store grab some stuff that i need to make dinner with i'm gonna make coconut thai chicken so hopefully that'll be good i've never made it before um so yeah that's the plan for today it's gonna be very low-key and after that we're just i'm just gonna have some wine and then wind down <laughs> but yeah so i will see you guys in a tiny little bit Hey guys, 
so I just got my nails and my feet done. So, so this is the color that I picked. I think it's called Velvet Cream. I recorded it, so you guys will probably see what color it is, but it feels so good to have nice, pretty nails after such a long time. So my husband picked me up, so we're just gonna go to the grocery store now, get some stuff, and then get to cooking. So we'll see how that Thai coconut chicken turns out. I can't wait to see. I think that's just the plan for today. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. yep. Maybe watch a movie. Probably. And then chill, as always. So, yeah. We got finished with dinner, I cleaned the house, and I just got done taking a shower. And I just want to go over my skincare with you guys because it's pretty amazing, you guys. So this thing is a life changer. Like I mentioned this in my um, Sephora VIB sale haul, and it is amazing. I feel like this makes my skin oh so soft and all you need is a little tiny little bit so this is i thought it would sting a little bit but honestly it's so mild and gentle and i think it's just to use this twice a day but i only use this at night and it has been working out very well and i have been having my husband use it as well and he really likes it too. Like this controls your breakout and limits your blackheads. I love it. Pretty much makes your skin as smooth as a baby's bottom. I've been totally loving that. So I'm just gonna let this dry a little bit. And you guys, that Thai coconut wasn't as great as I thought thought it would be it was a little bit sweet for my liking but i feel like it's my fault because the recipe only called for one and a third cup of coconut milk and i dumped that entire can and i think it was like two cups because i don't want to waste it but yeah it turned out a little bit sweet but the the rice was so good it was just jasmine rice with coriander and um butter it was delicious so we did end up finishing the whole thing though my parents and us it worked out okay so next time when i make it i would make it a little bit more spicy like add some chili or something because you guys i need spice to actually enjoy food i think this is pretty much dry now i'm gonna go in with my niacinamide serum so i have been using this one by paula's choice and again i love this too i think i showed both of these in the sephora vib sale video and like i said this is a little bit more creamy and more hydrating and this is a little bit more like a serum so i've been using this and this is more like a really light kind of serum so that's just the consistency and all you need is a little bit and 
This does um, burn a tiny little bit. This doesn't burn at all. So I don't know, I'm assuming there's more concentration of niacinamide in the other one, but I love it, you guys. It has been working wonders and I've noticed that my skin is a lot more smoother and the texture's better. I mean, mine is my chicken pox scar, but it has gotten rid of a lot of the hyperpigmentation. So I'm very happy with this. Once this dries down a little bit, I go in with my Ultra Repair Cream. Again, another thing that I got from the Sephora Baby Sale. So this is okay. I don't think it does a great job hydrating because I feel like my skin, as I'm getting older, my skin is just getting more and more dry. So I feel like I need something with a little bit more um, hydration, but this has been working okay. Like it hasn't irritated or anything. I just wish it had a tiny little bit more of a moisture. I'm gonna try the one by um, Pharmacy next for winter time because I know I'm so gonna need the extra hydration during the winter months because I get pretty dry. And now I'm just gonna go in with my eye cream and this is the Belief one that I got, I think, towards the end of last year. And this stuff is amazing. Like, I made a nice little dent in it. I have my husband use it too. Like, I remind him to use it, but yeah, like my eyelids get so dry. It is absolutely insane how dry it gets. And then I like to go in with this new CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil just on my cheeks and my um, middle of my forehead where I have the hyperpigmentation. Mostly my cheeks. So I'm just gonna add that. And you guys, it's like past midnight already. I don't know. What time is it when you guys usually get to bed because I can't, it doesn't matter like what I do, I can never be in bed. Like my dream is to be in bed by like nine o'clock, but it never happens. It's so late, I'm not gonna turn on the blow dryer now, so I'm just gonna leave my hair as it is. I'm just gonna put in some um, hair oil. I'm gonna put in the, if I can find it, so I'm just gonna use the Gisu honey infused hair oil. I'm just gonna comb it through and then just let it air dry because I'm tired and all you need is just a tiny, tiny little bit. And I concentrate it mostly just on the ends and mm, it smells so, so good. Like you guys see that I have like super, super fine hair. So I don't usually bring this up to my roots because I don't want to like flatten it. And I do have a free day tomorrow because um, I have an appointment for my Invisalign. So I am gonna get new trace, hopefully not a lot more. Um, and then I have my second COVID shot. So tomorrow's kind of free. And before I do all that, I'm probably gonna show you guys my part two of the Sephora sale haul and show you guys what I picked up because honestly, I'm a tiny little bit lazy to make a separate video for it. So I thought I would just include it in this haul and make it a tiny little bit more interesting. So yeah, guys, I think I am pretty much done here. I just need to moisturize my body a little bit more and then get some sleep because like I said, it's already very, very late. So good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning and I woke up a little bit late because last night was rough. She kept waking up throughout the night so I didn't really get a good night's sleep. But I have my appointment in like 20 minutes. So before that, I just wanted to share with you guys quickly what I did pick up from Sephora for the sale. This is all the things that I got. So. This was the face wash I've been wanting to try for so long. Like, there's only like really good reviews about this brand. So I did want to try this because I love a good face wash, guys. So I'm excited to try this one. 
and I picked up this makeup eraser set. Um, let me, so hard to do it with one hand. If you guys haven't used this makeup eraser, it's amazing. So this literally takes off all your makeup and without like any soap, just water and it's magic. So if you guys haven't tried it, do try it. And I know Costco sells them too, so you can get it for a better deal there. So this set came with that and oh, that's so cute. Three little butterfly clips. I'll probably use this on Mickey and that'd be so cute. So yeah, that's the second thing that I got. And I got the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Um, it literally, let's see. So this is, oh, uh, how, oh, hello. <laughs> so this is the Brow Freeze and it literally looks like just like glass. So you know what? I have to find a better way to show you guys. Hold on. I had to get the tripod so it would be much easier to show you. So the, this is the, brow gel i already tried but look at it so cool so this really does help keep your brows stay put i don't know how much i like that look but it's okay i mean it, it feels like there's like cement on my brows or something so this stuff really works if you do like that and then i picked up this little kea lee musk and vanilla rollerball perfume for my purse because it's summertime and we all want to smell good. So it has the vanilla on one side. And that's just what it looks like. And musk on the other. You guys, this musk smells really, really good. And you guys know I have the vanilla. So I may just pick up the musk side as well. Next thing that I picked up was this deodorant by Necessaire. Is that how you pronounce it? So yeah, they have this in a couple of scents and I got the sandalwood one which comes in this gorgeous black packaging. So it just has these holes and it smells kind of medicine-y. Yeah, it definitely has a little medicine smell to it. So hopefully it works. I don't know, we'll see. So that's that. And I also picked up the hand cream by Necessaire. And this is actually my second tub and it's amazing. Like I had injured my thumb during the holidays opening packages and that side, my skin was like totally ruined on the side of my thumb. And this was the one that fixed it. So I love it. This thing is amazing. It is expensive, but it's, so good and it's like starting to like heal my finger so i really enjoy using this and it's fragrance free so that's great so like i said i am really bad with sunscreen so i did pick up two hoping one of them will work so this is the glow screen what is it called the glow screen yeah glow screen spf 40 by super goop so this is supposed to have a really kind of glowy finish so it has a little tint to it so i think i may try the other one today because I am going to the dentist, so I don't want to, like, when they're, like, messing around with my mouth, I don't want the color to come off on their gloves. So I'm just going to, oh, let me show you before I put it on. So this is the Paula's Choice one. It's the Clear Paula's Choice Ultra Light Daily Hydrating Fluid Broad Spectrum. This is 30 plus with antioxidants. So this has really great reviews as well. So apparently it stays on really well under makeup and it's just this like milky fluid. So slather this on. Let's go because I have my appointment soon anyway. So I don't think it's like leaving like a white cast or anything. It doesn't have a smell of it. and it left like a nice little glow too so that's good next things that i picked up are two mascaras because the one that i got for the sale the lancome one i was allergic to it so i had to return it which is sad because it did such a great job so i just stuck with my original legendary lashes by charlotte tilbury and just if you want to see the wand oh, that's what it looks like it gives so much volume. It's beautiful. And I also picked up a little baby one of the one that I used to use like pre-COVID. And it's the Lancome Monsieur Big. My French is like way, way off. So 
This one works well and it gives so much volume too. Look at that. I love it when the mascara wands are thick like that. Coming to the fun makeup -y part, I got this Kaja Beauty Bento Eyeshadow Box. So this is what it looks like. It's in the shade Toasted Caramel. And you guys, this is like the most beautiful quad ever. Like, look at that shade. Oh, stunning. So that's the first color. And then this is the second one. I love how it gets darker colors are so beautiful and this is in natural daylight so keep that in mind but it truly does like pop on your eyes oh that was a little extra swatchy but that's what it looks like and you guys these colors work so well together the next thing that i picked up are a few things from rare beauty so they have their monochromatic look, what's it called, the Stay Vulnerable collection. I have all the collections now, so I was just lacking these two. So I picked up the Nearly Berry. Oh, you guys, what I love about this packaging is that they put in this little thing right here so you can like easily grab it and open it. You don't have to struggle like I did with the Kasha one. So this is the blush in Nearly Berry and oh, this is the cutest little packaging in the world. Okay, you guys, hold that thought. I will come back and show you the rest because I gotta go, I'm running super late. So be right back. Hello guys, I just got done with my Invisalign appointment and it actually got done way sooner than I anticipated. I'm gonna go back home now before I go for the vaccine. And I ended up getting 19 more trays. So that's like 19 more weeks. I thought it would be like maximum like, I don't know, 10. That was super quick and I'm back. I have my new trace in, which look way better than my older ones. But anyway, let's continue. So where were we? Okay, so I was about to show you the Rare Beauty blush in Nearly Berry. And you guys, this color is stunning. Look at that. And it's such a nice mousy texture and it blends out so well. And this is the compact look at this cute tiny little mirror right it is adorable and the product actually kind of sticks out a little bit she did such a great job with this packaging it's amazing that's the blush in nearly berry and when you blend it out look at how beautiful that blended out like all you need is a tiny tiny little bit so i also picked up the what is this one the Nearly Berry Liquid Eyeshadow. So this is the packaging of that. I love this light pink, like it's so pretty. This is the wand, just like a little lip gloss wand. And that is the Liquid Eyeshadow. So I love her eyeshadows, like these ones, cause they're so easy to blend and then they don't move. Like they literally don't move till you like take it off. So I love that. So that's the blush and the eyeshadow. And here is the last part of the collection. It's the lip gloss. This is what the gloss looks like. And actually you can pretty much use this as like a mirror to actually apply it. This is what the wand looks like. There's like a little hole right in the middle. So that holds like a lot of product. And this lip gloss actually is not like very opaque. That's what it looks like. All That's all three of the nearly berry shade isn't it so pretty i love these monochromatic looks because you don't have to think a lot grab it apply it and then you're done like i said the next one that i picked up was the nearly rose shade and again it has this thing where you just pull it up and it opens and it says you are rare this is the little magnetized little compact and this is the color like it looks like a I don't know can I say electric kind of pink right like it looks a little scary in the pan but again blends out so beautifully so that's the pink blush so this is more of like a muted color 
compared to like the blush so let's try on i honestly wasn't even sure if this would show up on my lids but it totally did and i was pleasantly surprised so that's the liquid eyeshadow and then finally the beautiful gloss so that's what that looks like it's so cohesive and so pretty i can't say this enough but she did an amazing job with this line so that's those i think i have to say that my favorite is still the nearly neutral because that can pretty much go with anything and i feel like the blush and the eyeshadow in the nearly neutral one goes so well with the shade fearless in her liquid lipstick line so that's like one of my go-to little combos i've been wanting this since you guys if you watch me you know that all my purchases well most of my purchases are stuff that i've been eyeing for so so long so this is another one of those and it's the hula bronzer in the caramel like I have such a hard time finding a good little contour shade and I think I finally found it. This is amazing. I don't know why it took me so long to get it. So again, it comes with the brush. As you can see, I've already used it and it's beautiful, you guys. This color is so perfect for my skin tone and literally all I need is a teeny tiny little dip because this is potent to say the least so i've been really enjoying this and i love this and this is quickly becoming a holy grail status for me for contouring i love this powder like the tones are so perfect in it you know what i'll show you guys a swatch because just talking about it doesn't do it justice so look at that you know what if i were to go in with the brush Kind of comes out streaky right now, but it's such a beautiful color. And I think it's also sticking on top of the Rare Beauty blush that I just put on. But you guys, it's such a beautiful golden color. And this works out perfectly for me for contour. As my bronzer, I still love my Hourglass, what's it called? Luminous Bronze Light. I love that for bronzer. It gives, Hourglass products just give you like the best glow from within look so i love pretty much everything from hourglass that was my little part two of the vib haul guys um i'm gonna go downstairs now and i don't know if my daughter is awake yet or not let me check nope oh, she's still sleeping so that gives me a little bit time to do my things so i'm gonna go put a load of laundry in and have some coffee relax before she wakes up and I have my appointment in like an hour now so I'll probably take you guys with me so I will see you guys in a little bit hey guys so I am going to get my vaccine and it's a whole family affair <laughs> so my husband and daughter are also coming with and also my little Holland cutie so yeah it's my second dose of my vaccine today and i'm so excited because i can finally yeah okay anyway as i was saying i'm so glad i get my second dose today so i can just get that over with and i'm so happy to be fully vaccinated um i'm just a little worried about the side effect because after my first shot, I was fine, but I did, and I did get Moderna, and I've read that there's way more side effects with that rather than the Pfizer. Um, so my mom got Moderna as well, and after her second dose, she had like horrible muscle pain and stuff like that, but it wasn't that bad. Um, but my dad, my brother, my sister-in-law all got Pfizer and they were totally fine after the second dose. And my husband is getting his shot tomorrow. So, and he's getting Moderna as well. So, yes, baby. <laughs> and my pediatrician told me that starting maybe like in the fall or maybe like during definitely by december that they're gonna be vaccinating babies too like six months and up 
so she'd probably get her shot as well for right now Pfizer was approved for like 12 years onwards so I think it's just a matter of time till little babies can get it as well I think we are almost here so I will see you guys after I get my shot I'm probably gonna get it on my right hand this time as well because um, I usually carry my daughter with my left arm so I don't want that arm to be sore so yeah guys I will see you guys after I am vaccinated hi so I couldn't vlog on the way back because my husband's parents had called so we were video chatting with them so I did get my shot on this arm and it was a little sore it's it's just a little sore i mean i don't have any aches or anything as of now so i came home we all took a nap the, even though it was cold the sun was out so i don't know we felt a little tired so now i'm just making some soup for my daughter and yeah guys i think that's pretty much it for this vlog but i did want to show you guys um, I did place an order with our place for another always pan because I love mine so much so I already have it in the um, I think the color is called spice and they also have another color out now that's like very similar to that one called terracotta and it's so beautiful it's like a darker shade of it I wish that was out when I purchased the spice and I have the lavender one as well. So I did get another one and it comes in this huge packaging. And let me see how I can show you guys. So when you open it, this is what it looks like. This is how it comes. And if you guys wanna read what it says. So this is just how it comes. So this is the lid. You guys, I saw this gorgeous blue color and I had to have it. So. This is just what it comes. It comes with this little, what is this? A natural sponge made for scrubbing away at the dishes you've left to soak in the sink. So I think this is probably meant as a little pun because nothing is supposed to stick to this pan compared to the other pans. So that's just that and a couple of other brochures. And then you take off the lid and look at this blue color, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's the lid. Then I'm gonna have to lift this up. And here is the pan with the steamer. So this is the little steamer basket that comes with it. And this is the pan. It says the always pan is designed to help you do more with less. So get ready to steam, saute, braise, fry, stew, boil, sear, serve, store, and more. So. That's that, and it's gonna take this pan out. Oh, I cannot, it's so beautiful with this color. And it also has the spatula on the side. So that's everything in the box. So this is the wooden little spatula. So it has this hole right here, so it'll fit perfectly on there like that and let me get rid of this and you can just close it so it does have this little pointy thing on the lid so where it corresponds to where the spatula rest goes so that's my new beautiful little pan isn't she beauty and this is what the bottom of the pan looks like so this is like the little heating surface. You know what? I think this is relatively new because, let me get my other one. I'll show you my lavender one, hold on. Yeah, so you guys see this is the bottom of my lavender pan and it's totally different. So this is definitely new. And I'm kind of glad that they added this silver detail because, <sighs> hold on, let me grab my other one. Here is my spice one, and if you look at the bottom of this, yeah, I'm not sure, because this, see that discoloration right there? So that's from putting it on the stove. So I'm not sure if that's gonna solve it with this one. I mean, it does look, 
I don't know if the diameter is wide enough, but I'm sure it wouldn't scuff as much as this one. So I don't know, we'll see. If you guys want to see a review of the Always Pen, just let me know and I'll make one for you guys. So that's pretty much it for this vlog, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it wasn't too boring. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching and I will see you right here with another video very soon. Bye guys.